Well, welcome back. You know, it was known as the most devastating fire in the history of the state of Colorado. That's right. People from all around called to help in the Waldo Canyon fires. Even us here at Pro News 7, we had three employees go out there to right. help out get stories. But with that, we made a connection with the TV station there. Yep. And now we are helping those people out, right? We certainly are. 346 homes completely destroyed by these wildfires. Last week, this truck behind us went up to Colorado Springs. It had washer and dryer, it had television, it had tons of clothing. This week, we're also asking for non-perishable food items. Anything you can bring by that we can take up there this next week that people can eat. Remember, these people are, are living out of hotels, they're living with friends. Some people are living at Red Cross shelters. They also need help with food along with clothing and everything else. We're going to be taking another truckload up again this weekend. You know, it's so amazing, so much. You hear us counting it all the time. The Panhandle spirit, the Panhandle spirit. But it really is something we truly believe in. And it's so, just a great feeling to see how many people are coming here with that Panhandle getting there with this one right now. In fact, the, the lady at the Disaster Recovery Assistance Center last week told our, our driver, John Paul, it was the biggest donation they had received yet in the Colorado Springs area. I'm betting in the Panhandle spirit we can beat that number this week. I think so for sure. Now, I have to make sure I get this right. Travis, is it called the Care and Share Program is where this is going to? Care and Share Food Bank in Colorado Springs. But, you know, not necessarily, I mean, we're saying non-perishable food items, but really anything can be used. Some other things are going to probably go up as well, some clothes that didn't make it last trip. Now, we have to take them to two different locations, so it's easier for us to collect one thing at a time. So non-perishable food is preferable. If you can bring other things as well, please do. Uh, we're going to take another truck up. And these people, I, I mean, seriously, the, the entire neighborhood's wiped out. Mm -hmm. And we want to be part of the group that helps these people out. And you know, when you think about wildfires, just imagine that devastation. At one time, 32,000 people displaced during these fires. We know wildfires. It's what we know around this area sure. for sure. So just imagine what they're going through. Look to your heart and help us out in the Panhandle spirit here at Pro News 7. I think the fact that it was a wildfire that was the worst in the state's history mm -hmm. really struck a chord with people here from the Panhandle because for the last 10 to 12 years, we've gone through some major bouts of wildfires. It's our turn now to give back. I like that. Please do. We'll see you here at the studio.